Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. We have another breed in focus for you and this time we're looking at the Californian uh, cavies, which are a marked variety. And we're going to look at the breed standard, we're going to look at the cavies development, we're then going to look at uh, how you breed them and what you should look for when showing them. I'd like to thank Daniel Bennett uh, for Hoogle cavies, Lord cavies and Picketeer cavies. Uh, for letting me use the videos of their animals and providing the photos. Uh, very much appreciated, thank you. So first off we'll look at the breed standard. This is very important as you need to know what you're aiming for and this will give you an idea of uh, where you need to make improvements. So the Californian is currently under the guise of the British Cave Council and the Rare Varieties Cave Club and they work together with the breeders to try and get this breed uh, standardised. Um, so the guide standard in the picture is there. I'll just go through some of the brief points, um, but you can download this at the Rare Varieties Cave Club or the British Cave Council. So the breed is available in uh, dark eye only um, and in English self-coloured coated red, golden, buff, cream or white with the points being available in black or rich milk chocolate. And the pattern of the markings follow that, uh, very similar to a Himalayan. And faults to look out for are uneven markings, uh, speckled feet, white hairs giving a peppered effect, poor demarcation between the points in the body colour, and excessive pigmentation in the body giving a muddy, body stained effect. So the main difference between a Himalayan and a Californian is the eye colour. Uh, Himalayans are only in pink eye, Californians are only in dark eye. Uh, Himalayans, however, are only available in white coated, whereas the Californian is available in red, golden, buff, cream, and also white as well. The markings on both breeds are only available in black and rich milk chocolate. So there are a couple of different methods to breeding Californians. The Californian is a dominant gene, so it will either show as a Californian with the markings, or if it doesn't have the markings, it is a pure self. Which is quite good, so it means that what you see is what you get. If it's got the California markings, it's Californian. It cannot be carried, so you won't get them pop up randomly uh, like you do with other breeds like satins. So one option for breeding is breeding uh, a Californian KV to a self KV, and you will get Californian and self babies out of this pairing um, of varying degrees, uh, but you won't know until they point up uh, what they're going to be. So if you breed an overmarked Californian to a self, uh, you'll get 100% uh, potentially showable Californians because they'll have uh, just one dose of the Californian gene rather than two. And breeding Californians to Californian uh, will produce 100% Californians, um, but you do end up with double doses of the Californian gene, like on the cave on the right, where it becomes slightly overmarked uh, and is not ideal, but it's perfect for your breeding program, where you will need overmarked pigs to pair with the selfs to get the more showable KVs, the more balanced pigs. Californians are a marked breed, um, and they develop uh, very similar to a Himalayan. So they're born uh, with no markings at all, as you see in this picture. Uh, the KVs in this particular instance are white, and they have no uh, signs of being anything other than the self. Now, some of the litter will develop their points, and you'll start seeing uh, the points come at the nose and the ears and the pads. Um, and this takes, you know, anywhere up to, to three to five months to fully come through. Um, if they have a double dose of the California gene, so they're the overmarked variety, they develop a lot quicker. As you see in this picture, this, this KV uh, is, is going to be overmarked. You can see the smut is, is spreading across the face. Very beautiful, well-balanced pig. Uh, but he does have a double dose of the Californian gene. At this point, the feet are still clearing. You can see the points coming through. Um, this will go up, stay like this until about the four month old stage, four to five month old stage. And then they'll clear through to have solid black feet. You see there's still white hairs under the ears. It's a good sign of the age. Um, if there weren't white hairs, you'd be concerned that uh, the cave was a lot older than the person was saying. And here you can see an under five, a five to eight in an adult and how they develop slightly differently. Um, there's no right or wrong. I mean, the, the under five's still got a white band around his nose, which is perfect. It shows that it's clearing. So within the Californians, there are two different genes. There's the overmarked one on the right and the normal Californian on the left. We're aiming to show the ones on the left, but the ones on the right are needed in the breeding pen. Uh, so you see this mat is well overmarked. The, uh, the points are much denser. Uh, 
but you you do lose that demarcation and you get this shading on the back occasionally as well um it's not anything wrong um it's just part of the gene genetic makeup of of two doses of the californian gene um and it's very important that you keep these pigs to breed back to selfs because that's going to give you more showable californians so as i mentioned earlier uh the californians are shown currently in the guide standard section um uh, and are catered for by the rare varieties kv club so here we have a black pointed uh golden from uh, daniel bennett of blue sack uh it's a very well balanced pig the californians are lucky because they inherit quite a lot of the traits from the self that they have been bred with so this head is very uh, broad slightly longer so it's got plenty of room to grow um but it's not just about type um it's a marked variety so the markings are very important uh, you need them to be dense uh, on the smut. You you need the ears to be black, the pads to be black, the feet to be black, and that body to be a, a rich golden colour. So here we have a chocolate pointed uh, white. Um, looks very similar to a chocolate Himalayan, um, only uh, the eye colour is completely different. And here we have uh, another chocolate pointed animal with cream. It's very important that the body colour carries all the way down to the flesh, just like on a self-cream. Um, and there's no reason why they can't obtain that perfect colour um, whilst maintaining uh, the points. And because of the self-background, the Californian can grow to very large sizes and can have amazing ear sets and really bold eyes. They can put flesh on on the shoulder very easily and they're quite a robust breed um they look fantastic on on the the show table and as you can see here they they handle very well uh stock of californians is available throughout the country um i would suggest joining the uh rare varieties kv club and joining the facebook page uh for the californian breeders and you can share ideas and talk and find out how people are breeding their pigs um but it's also a good place to find stock um, as I said, they're readily available. Here you can see this lovely group of Californians from Daniel Bennett. Uh, one thing they all have in common is uh, fantastic ears. Um, the contrast on the white on black seems to strike out more, just like on a zebra. But just like the Himalayan, the points are temperature sensitive. So the hotter weather is they become lighter, and in the cooler uh, months, they get darker and denser. Uh, and you can see this on, on, on these pigs here. And this is a lovely picture showing the colour groups of Californians. We're only missing the red, the self-red. Um, not many people breed those. And you can see them here again. And I'd like to just thank everyone for watching. Um, hopefully you've uh, learnt something about the Californian KV. I've probably missed a few things, but uh, until next time, this is Guinea Pig Greg, and I'll see you again.